So this happens to him at a barbershop, which I assume he was getting a haircut to hang out with you that night for yeah, the announcement. Yeah, for sure, yeah, because we just got the phone talking about this shit. He was like, you can get a haircut and shit. He was supposed to go in there and get a haircut, but somebody was getting a haircut, so he went back to the car to smoke and shit. And then uh, he was sitting in the car and shit. That's what made him go back to the car. Like, he really supposed to stay in the barbershop, waited to get a haircut, but he wanted to smoke and shit. So he went back to the car to smoke until it was time for him to get a haircut and shit. Now, I know you've mentioned you had nothing to do with this. It wasn't a sacrifice, it wasn't Illuminati stuff, none of that. But is there a feeling, a personal feeling from you of guilt of some sort? Maybe for the simple fact that he was getting a haircut to be with you that night, perhaps. Yeah, yeah like, I feel like, cause really, I feel like I, I mean, should've... he could have gotten a haircut any point Yeah, because I really could. I was going to get a haircut in my studio and shit. Like the barber, I be making the barber pull up on me. I could have been like, I feel like I could have been like, nah, just come to my house. Because they were just right by my house. That's where I remember I told you he seen me and shit. He called my phone like, that's you coming up the street? I'm like, yeah. I just came back from um, the other side of town and shit. All right, I was going to go get a haircut in my studio and shit. I could have told him, all right, pull up over here and just chill over here with me. Shit, to the barber pull up. Like, I don't just be going to the barber shop, chilling and sitting and shit. Like, I made the barber come to me. I um, don't be with this shit. And also, just for clarification purposes, I know there's a cousin in the middle of, of you two. Is this cousin on your mother's side or father's side? On my mom's side. It is my mom's side. I have a lot of questions. Uh, we're almost done, but uh, I'm just sifting through stuff that I've already asked you and stuff that I want to ask you, so excuse the pause there for a second. Uh, there was a funeral that happens. Yeah. Do you attend the funeral? Yeah, I had went like for like probably like probably about five minutes. Like right before the funeral actually started, they let people view the body. So I had went to look at the body and shit. Like because his mom and shit. She really ain't want us there. It's like she ain't want me or none of my people, like anybody that had that was his real friend there. Like she ain't want none of us there. Like people who actually was his real friend, like with him every day, like all us go to the show, all that shit. Like she ain't want none of us there. But we still went anyway though. Like I'm like, hell nah, this my nigga. I gotta go see him. Like. See, that, that's why I said this shit crazy. That's why I never wanted to, like, when she started to go fund me, that's why I ain't getting no money on this shit. Because I, if I feel like you take my money, you trying to tell me I can't come to the funeral. That shit crazy. Yeah, hell yeah, no. Nah. Did you ever try to put, and again, this is trying to look at all the different sides here, but did you ever put yourself in her shoes just to see why she may be thinking like this, or? I don't, I ain't no, I ain't no reason in the world to make her think like that. Like, I ain't no shit I never did. I ain't never crossed him, none of that shit. Like, we had the disagreements on shit, but it wasn't even shit that we like, we ain't even friends no more type shit. You know, if you, friends gonna have bump heads all the time, that shit just life. Like, like, we wasn't even no shit where they even make her think no shit like that. Like, that shit was just crazy here. I ain't never think I'd go through no shit like that. Like, I see people on the internet talk about this type shit, but I never thought I'd just go through this shit. Yeah, this shit crazy here. This wasn't your first funeral, I imagine, that you've attended. Nah, yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, nah, I went to a lot of funerals. My daddy funeral, my daddy passed, all type of shit. Some people don't go to funerals. Yeah, like, after, like, my daddy passed and, like, my uncle, like, I ain't, and, um, like, I ain't even go to my first nigga funeral I said they passed. I ain't go to his funeral. Like, I ain't, I really just over the funeral shit at one point, like, but this, I went to his funeral just because some fact. I was with him down there every day. So it was like, I had to see it. Like, I had to go see the shit to believe it. Like, I slick didn't even believe it still was true at the time. Like, but you know, when you see him in the cash, shit, this store, shit bring right Prior to like, this, uh, what was he in relation to you with your line of business? Uh, like, see, we started rapping together. So it's like, we came up with Plug Bros. together. It's like a like, group we called Plug Bros and shit. Me, him, and all our, 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 our close niggas and shit, so. Uh, we really had made it after my other nigga, my other partner had died and shit, and J23. Like, me and him used to sell clothes and shit together, so we were calling ourselves the plug and shit, like on clothes and shit, so. We just stayed with plug brothers and shit after he passed. Shit, we, I started rapping with him. Like, it really was two of us rapping, so shit, like, as we were going up, doing music and shit, like, I started doing some solo shit, he started doing some solo shit. 
Then I had did this song called Rockstar. It was just me on that motherfucker. That motherfucker had took out. That motherfucker had like two million right now on YouTube. That motherfucker had took out. So that's when we had started that buzz and shit. They were booking me for shows. But I still would bring him with me though. Like, like he was the one, like this is shit too. So it's like, people look at it like, uh, hating on him, I'm hating on Like, damn, y'all don't even know what the real going on. Like, I'm the one getting all this shit and I'm bringing him with me. Like, I don't want to get off of the deal. I'm the one getting booked for the show, but I'm bringing him with me just so he can get the same exposure as me just because that's what real niggas supposed to do. He's my brother, so shit. I want him to win just like I'm winning. Who was rapping first, him or you? Him. He was rapping first. Yeah, he was always a rapper. I ain't never wanted to rap. Like, he used to rap when we was in middle school and shit. Like, he was been rapping. Like, been, been rapping. He, yeah, he been rapping. I ain't. I started rapping after the fact, like, after we graduated and shit. And do you remember when you actually met him for the first time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met his at, uh, damn, when I first met him, that shit was like eighth grade. We was in um, middle school. Man, how we made each other, like, we started checking each other and shit, like, joking and shit, checking each other and shit. That's how we actually met, playing and shit. And then it's just like, shit, we just clicked it ever since. What middle school was this? Man, this, this school called Memphis Academy Hill Sign. That motherfucking um, Memphis. It's like a little charter school. You had no idea you were related to him? No, nah, not cousin? at the time until like we just got the same people name and shit like that. And then we were like, damn, that's my cousin, that's your cousin. So shit, we were like, man, we couldn't then. Mm. But shit, we always acted like family though. But prior to that, it was just a coincidence that you guys link up yeah, and get cool. Yeah, yeah, that's why I say like everything, pro everything happened for a reason. So is it safe to say at some point he becomes your best friend? Yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when I got, I ain't gonna lie, that was the, that was the only nigga, like, when I had got shot and shit, like, he was the one with me when I got shot and shit. So, like, that's why that shit even crazier, like, that his folks would even think some shit like that. Like, he was with me when I got shot, like, I supposed to been dead and shit. So, shit, we made it out of this situation and shit. Like, we've been through a little lot, we've been through a lot of good and shit. How long ago were you shot prior to Man, His I got, passing. I got shot like this shit about two years ago. I think like twenty, what is twenty twenty? Probably twenty seventeen. Nah, hell no. Nah. I got twenty fifteen. So this probably had to be about yeah, about twenty seventeen January. Yeah, twenty seventeen. It probably had to be about twenty seventeen. Think it was yeah. And as far as you know, these two incidents were not connected. No, hell no, hell no, hell no. I wasn't even the shit. Ain't even happened in Memphis. That's the crazy part. Like my ass was somewhere I wasn't even supposed to be. Fucking off in Arkansas and shit. I wasn't supposed to be over there fucking off. Bullshit.